What was this playoff time like for you the last couple of months and just the intensity of it all? Um, it was awesome. Um, no, it was it was great on the court, but more so off the court is what uh, what really stuck out for me. Is uh, our relationships in the locker room grew um, just because we were faced with a lot of challenges um, that we had to overcome, and so yeah, that, that just brought us closer together. That's really how we got as far as we did. Yeah. The, the big business of basketball and all these tensions surrounding you surprise you at all? Or, or what do you kind of think of that? Uh, I don't know. What, which? Just like the attention. You, suddenly you're kind of like a, a star in the NBA. Me? No. Are you kidding me? No. Just the media attention you got during the playoffs, did that surprise you? I mean, you uh, us every day, you're on the yeah, I talked to you guys every day, didn't I? <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, it wasn't ideal, for me, but um, but I mean, as much as I love you guys, yeah, put it as much as I love you guys, but uh, yeah, um, I don't know, it was just yeah, regular stuff. I mean, familiar faces, obviously, you guys, my friends, so main ones I look forward to, some random ones in there. Yeah. In the playoffs seemed like you raised your game to another level. Were you conscious of all that throughout the playoffs and, 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 and how all of a sudden you became a factor in, in, in the whole three rounds in 18 games? Were you conscious of that or were you just, you know, basically um, yeah. defending, you know, what, what you were doing and, and what they were saying, how affected you were being? Yeah, um, yeah well, well, it all just came down to, um, <clears throat> so, Obviously, in playoffs, they take away the main ingredients. So they took out Russ and KD, which actually it, it kind of forced us to actually um, put different players in positions to make plays to collapse the defense to free up our free up the main stars, right? So like KD and Russ to free them up more, and that's that's all it came down to. Um, and then I guess intensity-wise, that just came with playoffs, playoff intensity and stuff like that. But yeah. Thinking it, I think I just kind of stayed the same. It was just that the, uh, I guess I was just open a lot more because of how they were defending rather than the regular season where it's not actually like that. Well, I, mean, I mean, also, too, like in the San Antonio series, it seems like you were the best player. And, uh, not, uh, not just from, from, from my opinion, the double doubles that you had really kind of turned the series yeah. in, in a sense. To what we were talking about with Katie and Russ getting a lot of the attention, but yeah. it seemed like you know you really stepped into your own. Uh, yeah, it was. I mean, it was. Uh, yeah, I can't really say anything. It's just it all was based around what I just said. But like, um, I guess I was happy, and uh, I guess I was confident with uh, uh, with the situation I was given. Um, obviously, the coach talked about it. Like we we're going to be in these positions and stuff like that. And then, yeah. I guess I was uh, I was just confident being in there, I think. What are you gonna look okay, like? What are you gonna look like uh, when you come back? Just Chewbacca, mate. <laughs> just coming, coming in all just hair everywhere, mate. So you said about two years you're gonna be a monster. Do you mean like on the court or you just said probably off the court, like mate? Yeah, probably off the court, just terrorizing citizens. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a sense of how your stock has risen in New Zealand? Uh, Your fame and, and people's interest in the NBA. No. Oh yes, um, dude told me. Um, yeah, one of the fans came over and said uh, that basketball. It's just yeah. The, I'm not sure about the fame, but but like the um, basketball is now becoming a um, really popular sport in New Zealand, which is great, which is really good because then obviously a lot of things come out of it. Um, get scholarships and stuff like that. Easy hit start in life, so that's that's why I'm what I'm pushing. So that's the only thing I care about. It's good to see that progress. You kind of pushed through some of these injuries through the last series, but now that everything's over and you've got a chance to sit down, I mean, are you are you kind of feeling the effects of this playoffs now physically? Nah, not at all. Um, not yet. Uh, mentally, yeah, uh, but physically, nah. I could play another series. So, yeah. You say mentally, how so? Oh, it's just, you know, just, it, it's draining. It's a lot of, like, obviously when you're 
trying to maintain that level of focus and uh, with that intensity, that environment, it's it's that that itself is draining. That's what the whole, whole playoffs is, and so to maintain that, it's uh, it's right, especially when you don't get obviously the results that you want. It adds extra kick. I shouldn't say kick. Yeah, I was, <laughs> I was about to say something about it. yeah. Just adds extra yeah stuff. What, uh, I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen, how will you how will you follow the Kevin Durant Derby? I mean, how have you and how will you follow this Kevin Durant story on Twitter? Not at all. Uh, real interested uh, websites. What 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 will be your search uh, for the next month? For. How are you going to follow Kevin's? Oh, for like his decision and stuff? Yeah. Oh, just flick him a text and see what he's going to do, and I guess. I don't know. We, we just support him. I mean, we support him. We, we understand that it's his decision. We ain't going to. I mean, I ain't trying to pressure him or something. <laughs> and by the way, I'm real low on the totem pole. <laughs> so I'm lucky enough to get his number, so. <laughs> <laughs> just if you're out of the country oh. or wherever you're at, how, how will you literally follow it? Uh, out of the country? If you are. Um, I don't know, mate. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm more of just like a check on him personally type guy instead of following the media. But you guys find out before anyone else, don't you? <laughs> yeah, so probably <laughs> probably rely on you guys, mate. <laughs> Try and, I guess. Yeah. As his teammate, do you have a sense of what decision he might make? No, not at all. Uh, Super Bowl, like the whole team has just been focused on what we had to do at hand, and uh, yeah, we came as far as this, which was marvelous. Really, it was, it was really good for us. Um, but in terms of those off-court decisions and stuff like that, that's that's all this stuff, bro. Yeah. You said you're low on the totem pole. <laughs> the truth is, you're high on the totem pole for the reasons the future is so bright. I mean, the Thunder now is a 22-year-old center that can do everything and is just going to keep getting better. That's just one more great selling point to Kevin Durant. Do you have a sense of how valuable you've become to this franchise? Uh, no, it was kind of, yeah. Oh, when you put it like that, what you just said. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> you should sell that to him, mate. <laughs> it sounds like an infomercial. Um, and that was, I don't know, just, yeah. I mean, I haven't realized that at all. Just been head down working hard, mate. Yeah, trying to keep my nose clean. You also potentially have a decision coming up. I mean, you're extension eligible this summer. Is your plan to stay here, and do you want to work out an extension before restricted free agency? No idea, mate. Haven't even given that any thought. Um, I don't know. That's that's up to obviously the agent and Sam and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. That's why I have them. <laughs> they speak differently. Can't keep up with it, but I don't know. Whatever happens, mate. Really, if it comes around, I'll deal with it. We'll have a talk before and <laughs> give you a call. Why do you think your 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 look has become so popular? You're wearing your own shirt. Little kids are dressing up like you. Why do you think <laughs> no, people rally weird. around that? Uh, I mean, obviously, because it's 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 different. It's weird. It's quirky, I guess. Um, yeah, I guess it's just bizarre. Um, I can't really say it. It's, it's good. It's, it's positive, I think, for us, because yeah, this doesn't. It doesn't take much to maintain this thing right here. So, just have to let yourself go. Where do you spend the majority of your off season? In New Zealand or where? Um, yeah, it'll probably be um, some in New Zealand and uh, some in America. I'll be. I'll be back. I don't know when. I don't know. Yeah, but just somewhere in the world. I'll be, I will be. I will be on Earth, somewhere. <laughs> Olympics? Uh, maybe is your sister going to be competing in the Olympics? Or gonna yes, she is. Are you going to go to Rio? Um, I'm not sure. Haven't decided yet. Um, got that weird disease around there. Kind of make me scared. I need to do some research. Make sure I go before I go, if I go. Um, but yeah, it'll be good. Hopefully, she does. She does well. It'll be good, man. Anybody else for Steve? All right, thanks, Steve. No. Cheers, lads. Been a pleasure. Yeah. Thank you, Steve. Ah. Thank you, Stephen Adams. Real Stephen Adams. Ah. <laughs>